this video we're going to take a look at how to create a line chart. Line chart is used to show how something changes over time. If you're not showing how something changes over time, then you shouldn't be using a line chart. So what we want to do is we want to show uh, these years along the x-axis. And we're going to compare not all of this. We're going to do newspapers and magazines. And so uh, in this case, we need to do a non-adjacent selection. So after we select the years, then we let go of the mouse. And before we select again, hold the control key down to do a non-adjacent selection. And now we've got uh, everything that we need to create our chart. Uh, the reason I um, included newspapers and magazines here is because I want those to appear in the legend and uh, otherwise they won't appear in the legend. Now the word year is not going to show up any place but Excel insists that whatever data you have selected for your chart when you slide the data together it must form a rectangle. So if I were to slide this data together here, if you know if columns B and C were not here then I would have a rectangle. Okay let's uh, undo that a little bit and let's reselect here. Okay. And this is what I want to make into my line chart. And so that's going to be on the insert tab and in the chart group. And here are my options for line chart. And usually I take the first one, but uh, with a line chart, I usually skip over to the line with markers. Uh, you probably, uh, if you're doing a line chart, you probably want either the first one or the fourth one here. Uh, these two in the middle, um, make sure you read them carefully, and these two on the end, make sure you read them carefully before you do uh, select one of them because they may not do what you want them to do. I'm thinking almost all the time you're going to want either this or if you want the data points to stand out a little more, you're going to choose line with markers. So we'll do line with markers, and this is what we get. And Excel makes the mistake of plotting the years here, and that's what my blue line is. So if you look down here and you see a legend, well, yeah, it's plotting the years because it thinks anytime it sees numbers, it thinks it's supposed to plot them. Now, this, these are not my data series. These are the numbers that I want across the bottom here. So uh, this can happen pretty easily when you're doing a line chart because frequently you have numbers over here indicating years or you know, some other time unit that's numbered. And we have to tell Excel that we don't want this. Okay? Um, there's uh, an easy way to get rid of the line here. Just right click on it and choose delete. Okay? Um, but it does not automatically put these down here on the x-axis for me. So what I have to do is I have to go select data again. So click on select data. And we get this dialog box here that looks a little funny. It's got uh, two sides. And on the left side, it has the series, which a series is basically a line. So there's a series for newspapers. There's a series for magazines. And it also says legend entries here. So that's what I'm going to get for my legend. So newspapers and magazines. But over here, it has the x-axis labels, the horizontal axis labels. And it, by default, it just does 1, 2, 3 until it gets up to the end. And we've got 12 data points here, so it does 1 through 12. Well, I have to tell it that I want to change that. So I'm going to click on Edit. And I'll get this little dialog box that comes up. And I just need to go and select the data that I want. Don't include the word year, because we don't want the word year down there on the bottom. And it does do a live preview here before we even click on OK. Click on OK. And those years are down here at the bottom. We can go ahead and click on OK up here. And there's our chart. Let's go and uh, move that to a new sheet. And again, I don't care about the name of the sheet. It's easy to change if you want to. And this is my chart. Uh, change the chart title. Just go up here and... Um, Type in your title. Actually, you don't even have to click up there. Hours per year. 1985 to 1996. And hit enter, and it automatically changes my title. So 
so we've we're pretty much done the only thing you might want to do here is if you want to make some changes if you don't like the colors of the lines uh, it's real easy to do you can right click on one of the lines you'll see handles appear these little dots and uh, click on format data series and we'll get dialog box opening over here on the right and um, we've got um, a bucket which controls the color and then we've got this is for effects and this is for series options and we don't really need to worry too much about these hardly ever um, but we do want to change the color of the line so let's do solid line here and uh, blue is the uh, first color by default uh, it's one of the theme colors which means if we change the theme this color will change so if I want a blue line for that I'm going to go down here and pick blue from the standard colors so now I've got a blue line but if I click off of the line here and you take a look uh, the dots are still the old color so I have to go back over here and um, select my line again because you see it changed to the plot area which is the background here so click on this again and make sure it says format data series which is the line and the lines are selected with the little blue handles on them and we want to change the we change the line uh, now we want to change the marker so click on marker over here we want a solid fill and we want the same blue that we have for the rest of it and uh, now if I click over here and it's kind of hard to see it probably won't show up well on a video but I changed the fill but the border is still that orange color so I gotta go back here and click on this again because again when I clicked off of it and clicked on the plot area it changed to format plot area so click on the line again and go to marker and go to border and do a solid line for the border and let's go down here and pick out our blue and that was the default so uh, now we're good everything is blue but you had to do three changes just to change that line one for the line one for the dot and one for the border around the dot and you can do the same thing uh, down here um, you know grays not going to show up all that well so if you want to change that uh, you do the same thing um, so that's how you do a line chart that's how you edit the color of the line after you've created the chart uh, all the other editing is basically the same click on it over here and if you have this editing area available uh, it will automatically change whatever you selected so this is going to format the axis for me if I click down here this is going to format the axis but it's a different one if I click here it's going to format the legend if I click here it's going to format the plot area if I click out here it's going to format the chart area that's the background for the whole chart and so on so once you get this box up here if you just leave it then you can just click on stuff and you'll automatically get the correct options that you want over here uh, the big thing to remember with the line chart is you should always use a line chart to show how something changes over time so you always have time units on the x-axis if your data does not show how something changes over time then a line chart is not the thing to use